Hey Fire Signs, welcome to the Sacred Sage. This is your weekly reading from the 3rd of June till the 9th of June. And what amazing cards, my lovelies. Beautiful cards. You can figure it out from my voice and, you know, the energy that, yeah, something shifted. By the way, the situation that I was in last week, I think that stands at status quo. So <laughs> clearly, if there's anything that has shifted, is probably my approach or my outlook, or maybe I got some spiritual wisdom. So yeah, the mess is not yet sorted, but I believe that the universe will guide me to the right path. So I'm in this total state of surrender. Oh, your cards. Your career. It's, I, I would say that it's at its best state. I mean, I haven't seen this career reading for air signs for such a long time. Um, I, I think your career is going smooth and the angels are blessing you. The creator has given you almost everything that you could have desired for, which means you do have the money. You do have the recognition. People around you uh, definitely appreciate the value that you bring onto the table. There's a lot of teamwork happening. And then finally, there is judgment. So I, I think... Uh, I think all the efforts that you've put in for years now and, you know, all the struggles that you've gone through are finally getting you to reap the fruits of your labor, right? Uh, this is the time when you nurture these moments of appreciation, of recognition, of money, uh, because it, it's well deserved. So, yeah, don't forget to pat your back, look at yourself in the mirror and say that, yes, baby, I did it right you it's it's very important for you fire sign to acknowledge your achievements you know because you're such a hard working sign you obviously put your heart and soul into everything that you do but then the only thing that you often miss out is to appreciate your own self so try and do that tell yourself that you're very happy if not proud of your achievements yeah your love life well i think uh Someone previously, whoever it is that you were connecting with, was uh, in a state of two of swords, which means that they were not able to decide. They definitely uh, didn't know if they want to take this forward, if they really want to take the plunge or get committed or not. Uh, I'd say that I think whether this person has communicated this to you or not, but they definitely know that they love you, right? It's, it's an energy where uh, they themselves are not very clear if they are ready to communicate that. So they've taken their time off. It's possible that you probably have not spoken to them since last few days or may not be talking to them right now. So even if you don't hear from them, know it for a fact that here's this person who now finally knows within themselves that they really love you. The way they look at you is like their empress, which means that male or female, it's definitely not gender specific. So, uh, you know, whether you or your partner, they look at you as, as someone who is caring, nurturing. It's, it's like that epic beauty that they always wanted. It's the ultimate companionship. It's, it's like how you idealize that one person that you really, really want to be with. And they now know that, you know, you are, the one. Maybe they always knew, but they didn't want to acknowledge it. But now they really want to acknowledge it. And they're also ready to take the leap of faith. I also see the Five of Swords energy, which means that uh, it's possible that they've been very uh, selfish or slightly mean uh, previously. But I would say that, um, I, I, I would say that right now, Maybe on the other side of their life, they have some struggles. It's not about they being mean or selfish. It's just about they being slightly more focused on things which only they have to do and they have to stand for themselves and resolve it. 
I think that's what the angels tell me that despite they feeling all of this and coming to terms with the fact that they really love you and you are the one they may not be able to move forward this week at least because of uh, their own situation so don't take it to heart I think it's coming soon definitely coming in soon for those of you who are interested in astrology just two quick updates so mercury has shifted or would be shifted by the time you would re, uh, get to this reading and then venus is also shifting this week both of them together are going to be in a place where things will start moving forward so mercury is going to be visible which means all the communication that you wanted from this person or even otherwise and you were not getting that now is the time for the communication to flow so give some time to mercury the dear planet is going to deliver soon and with venus shifting signs i think all that was blocking these unions especially for those who believe in the twin flame union i think a lot about it definitely will fall in place there are so many readers and i kind of agree with most of them who feel that many twin flames might just get into a state of union this summer i'm keeping my fingers crossed that it it should happen to each one of us who's believed in the journey and who's been working really hard and i wish and pray that it comes true for all of you as well as for me so all the best to us cheers my lovelies take care and i'll speak to you next week